Previously, Henry beamed himself his app. Then he added his icon and pictures and a map and news and changed the design. It arrived on everybody's iPhone without needing cables. It just updated. Now that his app is perfect, he's ready to go wild and play with final tweaks. How about adding a disco ball to the app's animation? He doesn't like the curtain behind the disco ball, so he changes it for a picture on his computer. It's a picture of his favorite shirt. He clicks the blinking light and the changes wirelessly appear on his iPhone. Ah, his shirt with a disco ball. Nice. Maybe a plate will be better than a disco ball, so he selects the theme with the plate. Ah, shirt and plate, much better. Maybe his app should have a different set of buttons. Those are the lively buttons he's using now. Let's switch to something more traditional. He clicks the blinking light, and the changes appear on every iPhone who has his app. Here are the new buttons. Not bad. Maybe he'll change it back later. Did you know that Henry also has a free website? It's on an internet address that matches his restaurant's name. Let's switch over to the internet and look at it. The address is so good, he actually put it on his business cards. A site is automatically made when he builds his app. Here, people can beam his app to their friends or their own iPhone. Here, Henry's friends can promote his app with cool buttons. They can put them on their own site or Facebook. The free website is great. It's automatic. And Henry's guests on computers or without iPhone like it a lot. And when Henry changes his restaurant's name, his website address changes with him. He doesn't need a programmer or a webmaster. It's magically done for him. When people tilt the app, Henry's name appears as the programmer. This way, everybody knows that Henry can make apps for them if he feels like it. He clicks the settings button to change the name that appears in every app he makes. Here he can also change his password. His name also shows in other apps he makes for other people. Just a little while ago, Henry only had one app. Hitting plus makes new different apps. A few weeks later, he's made a ton of apps for other people. He sold most of them. Each app comes with their own set of buttons and its own free website from where people can beam it to their friends. Or beam it straight out of the app so their friends can beam it to their friends who all see Henry's name. By now, people aren't calling Henry just for dinner. Hello, Henry's app making selfies. Hey Henry, can you make me an app? I make your app in 60 seconds.